one of the single biggest questions that you can ever ask yourself and it's the most revealing that you want to ask other entrepreneurs, your mentors, your colleagues, or your board of directors and advisors. This one question, if you ask them this question, it will change your business and your life. The question is, what are the top three challenges and problems or failures that you had on the road to entrepreneurship? When you ask this one question to fellow entrepreneurs and colleagues, board of advisors or board of directors, you're able to gain insightful things on real world experience that you want to avoid. Get the lessons without actually making the mistakes, the failures. I asked this one of the questions to one of my mentors and he actually made one of the biggest mistakes in his career that almost destroyed him but he was able to build it back. What was that mistake? He actually lost hundreds of millions of dollars because he over leveraged himself in the real estate and business acquisition space. He was able to recover back, which is one in a million or even one in a hundred million chance of actually being able to do that. And he shared with me the lessons and the mistakes that he had made, but also what he did afterwards to come back, right? He had to do a deep reflection at the time when he lost hundreds of millions of dollars. I don't know if you can imagine yourself losing hundreds of millions of dollars. I can as well. It's a devastating place to be at. And so one of the things that you want to find out that you, when you ask this question is you're able to get these things. But one of the lessons that he shared with me, he said, I remember that day we were sitting across from each other. It was at one of the, the events in, uh, in Texas actually. And I was sitting there and I asked him what were his biggest mistakes. And he, forward, he was very transparent, very open with it. He said, Benson, success is not about doing a lot of big, great things. Success is about doing less stupid things. That fundamental principle changed my mindset and changed my life. Right now in entrepreneurship, everyone's trying to do the right thing, trying to do that next big thing, the big success. When you're an established entrepreneur, you wanna make sure that you do less stupid things. Don't over leverage yourself. Don't focus on so many different things. Focus on that one thing. Put your dedication, your time into it connect with the right people and focus on that. Don't try to do so many big important things. Focus on that one thing that you can do extremely well and keep focusing and going through it because that's one of the biggest things that you can do. I still remember when you shared with me that lesson, I'll say it again. Success is not about doing a lot of big things. It's about doing less stupid things. So when you listen to that principle and make sure you ask that question to a bunch of people, what are the top three mistakes and failures? that you've made on your journey as an entrepreneur, you'll be able to learn a lot of insights and experiences that will change your business and your life. This is something that I still practice every single day. When I meet and I talk with interesting entrepreneurs, I always ask them, what's one failure or what's one or three failures that you've made? What did you learn from it? And what did you do afterwards? That's what the gift of insight that I want to share with you as a fellow entrepreneur. And I look forward to connecting with you. I want you to comment below right now. Let me know what's one insight that you got from this video and also yourself. If you experienced challenges and failures, let me know by commenting below. Make sure you like this video and make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel. So I'm looking forward to sharing with you more of the principles, the insights and stuff that are as an entrepreneur that we don't tell anybody else. You know, things that we want to share, things that we want to be able to learn and grow together. So let's do that and I look forward to connecting with you either through YouTube or email or whatever channel that we meet, maybe even on the street one day in Vancouver. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.